<laughs> What's going on guys? This is Gene Jensen and I'm getting ready for a Spro Frog only tournament tomorrow and I wanted to run through my rig real quick, show you how I rigged this Bonafide up for that specific tournament. So stay tuned. <laughs> Real quick, this is my SS-127, rigged up for stand-up fishing. This is what I, how I would rig this thing up for inshore fishing, for reds and trout and stuff like that. We're gonna be standing all day. Notice a stand-up paddle, stuff like that. Well, let's go from the front to the back. Now, if you guys saw my video about how I rigged this thing, there's a plate that goes right here for my motor guide trolling motor. Well, this is a manpower only uh, tournament, so I had to take all of my, take my trolling motor off won't be using that i'll be using the paddle so i went back to original i put the boss strap back in and i took the one objective plate off that was right there for the quick release uh, mount for my motor guide anyway so moving on back i've got a yak attack extension pole this is a new mount from yak attack allowing you to put some of the older stuff on there so i've got the roto grip on there um i can't remember it's a 90 degree mount uh, and then your your standard lock and load mount right there and that'll hold my stand-up paddle while I'm standing up when I'm paddling I'll have the big guy right there and then I'll just switch them out as I'm as I'm going places but most of the time I'll just be standing up paddling and casting just makes it easier to get to that paddle uh, no fish finder on this one don't need it I'll be fishing topwater frogs shallow uh, yak tack cup holder Wow, let's go look. Let's look and see what's in my in my junk drawer. I've got some uh, some real snot, just in case I need to grease something up. A couple of different pair of pliers. Why I have the split ring prior pliers just always stay in the boat. Another pair of pliers, wristband if my wrist starts hurting because I'll be walking a frog all day long. Scale just in case I catch a big one. Strap for my uh, for my tendonitis in my right arm. A uh, pair of uh, fish grips. Those are my custom fish grips, by the way. But anyway, those are strapped to the side of the boat right there. And they will, uh, and that's what holds the fish while I'm getting ready to measure. Okay, my NRS Chinook PFD. I've got it rigged up with my, uh, with my remote for my uh, power pole micro. A pair of snips. Some wipes just in case I gotta go to the bank. Uh, and that's not the money bank. <laughs> uh, a couple other things I missed. Let's see. I've got the Yak Power switch right there, you guys. I don't, I don't know if I showed that in my last video. That switch, is, uh, it controls all the power to, like, my fish finder, my camera mounts and stuff like that. That's the power for my camera. And I've got another one back here from my back camera. Um, got my red catch board. The carbonite, car, the new carbonate board is not, uh, has not been approved yet for this tournament. So I went back to the catch board. Uh, JJ's magic is right here in this little Yeti bag. There's all my tackle. See all that? Just some frogs. Look, let's show you guys with my spro box. That's my spro bo box right there. Isn't that crazy cool? All right. Now, this is kind of how I always rig up my rods in the back. I've got two, uh, two Yak Attack rod, rod holders right here to hold rods straight back. And then on my black pack, I've got uh, three rod holders. And those will hold my other three. And then I'll always have one in between my, my knees or, uh, or I'm fishing with one. So there's always five or I always has six rods on the boat or almost always. It's my uh, micro power pole. Man, that thing is old. I have used the snot out of that thing. I've got the short uh, six foot pole in it. Probably we'll put the eight foot in it tomorrow morning. Woo, let's go around. Okay. I've got the Zuka 2 right here, which is my net holder. And this is what I call the ninja net. This is the leverage landing net. And I switched out the rubber net for the old... Uh, the old coated net, I like the coated net better. The coated net better. Okay, anchor wizard. I do have an anchor trolley, but I won't be using it on this one. Uh, but the anchor wizard, I ran the anchor all the way out the front like I normally do with the anchor up front. And that's how I got it rigged up. We will uh, see how it happens tomorrow. I'm excited. 
Hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I always say, be sure to introduce somebody to fishing. Introduce them to my channel. Let me help you teach them how to fish. More importantly, get out on the water. Go ahead and catch some fish and have a great day. Let's have some fun.